the magical feeling of match day and the desire to lose yourself in the moment that's what today is all about a meeting of two talented sides ready to go at it in front of a capacity crowd not to mention the eyes of the wider football world don't go anywhere the match is live right here on EA TV Well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening. It's absolutely ideal. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry and delighted to be joined as always by Stuart Robson. And with the atmosphere really building up nicely, we should be in for a terrific contest. It's Juventus and they take on PSV. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I've played under would always tell us before we got earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Nicely timed tackle. And this is how Juventus will line up. Wojciech Szczesny between the posts. Andrea Radio starts alongside Weston McKenney in central midfield. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. Potentially a chance to do damage on the flank for Juve. It's got to be! In it goes! An early goal! No wonder they're celebrating! What a good build-up this is. Quick incisive passing, clever movement, and all done at pace, which led to a simple finish. That's a real joy to watch. And back underway. 1-0 it is. Schouten. De Jong moving it forward and a good challenge to bring that attack to an end the referee has given a corner Underway following the equaliser. Vlahovic. Kostic has it. Arkadiusz Milic. Credit to a good intervention. Luke de Jong. Fairman. You must take the lead here, and they have, you've got to say, it has been coming. Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most.
back underway as we reflect on the goal that's made it 2-1. Andrea Cambiasso. And it's with McKenney. Cranio. Forcing the issue. Great composure. McKenney. Look at Telly. Well, it didn't happen for them in attack. Now, chance for attacking possibilities here. Scouting. Now options are plenty. Nicely blocked. Played into the centre. Danger averted. a narrow lead for the visitors to this point. Stuart, how would you assess what we've seen? Well, it's been a good watch so far. Both sides have tried to play on the front foot, but they do look more threatening in the attacking areas. And in my view, they deserve to be in front. Really good build-up, but no end product. Fairman. And De Jong on the ball. position is there a goal in the future Joey Fairman oh, a tremendous block Lahovic 
Kostic. Revenge of challenge. Might really be able to trouble them here. And we will have just one additional minute. Arcadius Milik. Juventus have given it away. And there goes the whistle, bringing to an end the first half here at the Allianz Stadium. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. So, the second half drama here at the Allianz Stadium. <laughs> Juventus recovering possession well. Locatelli. Yasso. Now Rabio. They're standing off them here, and they're being too passive. You can just keep possession, and it's positive possession. What can they do from this position? Rabio. And he's broken free. A magnificent stop. Well, it should be a goal, but take nothing away from the keeper. That's a brilliant save. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Played over. Kenny. Locatelli. On to Rabio. The fans really wanted to shoot. Well, as you can see, Juventus have dominated possession in the last 15 minutes. Some of their play has been really good, and if they continue to control the ball as they're doing at the moment, I'm sure they get that equaliser. Indeed, perhaps they can cash in again, let's see. And it stopped a promising attack in its tracks. You wouldn't be surprised if there's a card coming out here. And yellow it is, a booking. Yeah, he was too impatient to win the ball and probably deserved the yellow card. Now 
Vinch. Oh, to level the match. Now, Arkadiusz Milik. Well, the fans want to see a shot. And that's a very good pass. in possession. Jordi Schouten. Possession and patience are the watchwords. What can they do to stop them running at them? It's in! And they can really relax the confidence and not giving the opposition much of a look in. Well, as you can see, what a good bit of play this is. The build-up is excellent, one and two touch passing, clever movement and a fairly simple finish. Great team goal. Underway again with the score at 3-1. And into the last 20 minutes. Perfect tackle, really, and now a throw in. Well, let's get more details on the injury situation from our pitch side reporter, Jeff Streets. 50 50 this one, twisted his knee, he's been trying out, but I'm not sure he can carry on. Cheers, Jeff. And a fine tackle, might be a chance to break. A good pass. Lack. Must be. And you've got to credit that magnificent piece of defending. Kostic. It's with Milik. Dusan Vlaovic. The tackle taken away. Bakayoko. Weston McKenney. Hostage has it. Locatelli. There's ten minutes remaining here. He's sitting deep now, that could be problematic. Kostic. And now, Arkadiusz Milik. An astute piece of defending. They have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. looking attack but comes to nothing in the end Andre Ramalho Joey Fairman might be onto something with that ball he ran it well defensively of stoppage time to be added on and a play and a PSV throw in forthcoming it's 
It's a substitution for Juventus. to play in possession and that is how to block and reading it absolutely superbly and there goes the final whistle it's gone the wrong way as far as the home fans are concerned you're absolutely right Derek they really struggle to get to grips with the game they always seem second to the ball and then just a few mistakes at the back and it's cost them poor performance all round they put in a really thorough performance here, Stuart. Well, that performance sums him up, really. You're never disappointed with what he gives you. Such a good player.